Hey guys, it's Maureen. Welcome back to Bags and Budgets. I am vintage bag, bag obsessed. Like I'm obsessed with bags, but in particular vintage bags because I feel like there are so many great forgotten and unique styles in the world. If you want to know more, consider subscribing to this channel. That being said, let's get into the meat of the video, my coach bag collection part two. The first bag is darn cute, a little brown satchel, perfect size, can fit tissues, my cell phone, doggy poopy bags, um, it's crossbody which I love. Actually I love that I could wear a bag top handle and crossbody. This is not the case, of course I cannot wear this top handle, but I do like a crossbody. I do like the functionality of this one. The only thing I don't like about it is the color. I have a lot of dark brown bags in my collection and I wish I knew beforehand that I would never wear it just doesn't match with what I have in my wardrobe. I joke around, I dress in the colors of friends, white, okay, black, also reds and blues and for some reason I don't gravitate towards brown. Another one in the brown category but super cute is this little satchel school bag. I love the fact that it's unisex, a lot of coach bags are unisex, well actually every coach bag is unisex, there are no rules. Actually, this one is made in the US which is so freaking cool um, and so old. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this one, I think I'm probably also going to sell it because it's not the right color for me. Okay and then the last one that I'm probably going to sell is this dark brown coach bag. This one is made in Costa Rica. It's also a brown bag, just a size up and um, no lining as the old coach bags. They have no lining, very sturdy, um, tough leather. Like if you can imagine, this was made probably in the 70s or something and it's still going strong. That is amazing. Now this one, on the other hand, this is a very specific, this is something special. Um, actually guys, I don't know if I have a real coach bag on my hands. The reason I'm in doubt is because um, the Creed, the really big Creed that is also a pocket, says that it's made in the US but I feel like it's such a relevant new style um, so I don't know maybe somebody can help me out on this I do believe I am 100% sure that I'm going to keep this bag because it's a deep dark red Bordeaux I think it's super cute it's like a really really I think like it's a really really cute little bag and I might try to find a strap for it so I can wear it crossbody as well but I do think this is so darn cute um, just a little evening out bag or just an everyday bag if I don't want to carry around a lot of things and I do love the Bordeaux color, but I do want to know if this is a fake coach bag or not. So if somebody can help me, it's just such a little perfect drawstring, very classic bag. You wouldn't even know that it's coach if, well, you don't see that it's coach because there's no logo. It's just a plain, simple bucket bag in leather, just beautiful. Um, yeah, I can't go wrong with this one. This is perfect for every day. I love that the leather doesn't scratch if I'm out with my dog and I pick her up and she scratches on the leather. It is so sturdy and thick. You just don't see any any damages on this. This is like the quality of coach is like beyond compare in my opinion. So yeah, I have to store better. I have to fill it up with 
some stuffing and uh, yeah this is also a very nice classic coach bag in very thick leather made in the US um, yeah there's nothing you can say wrong about this it has a pocket in the back it's very easy accessible just a perfect bag in my opinion I love everything about it it's just so simple and that's what makes it so so good okay and then this one I'm definitely keeping as well I love uh, this shape like how the handle broadens and then goes thinner here I love these little tassels this back pocket is super cute I love the little lock I also love what Stuart did with the new bags to make this a C but keep like the um, original locking system and then there's an old towel inside this one is lined because it's <laughs> good this, there. this one is lined because it's not super old anymore I think it was it doesn't say where it's crafted but this one is lined most of the coach bags have incredible lining that has a contrasting color with the leather this one doesn't but I do feel like if you have like a red coach bag and then it has a purple interior it really pops out it helps to make you find your stuff much easier but I'm definitely keeping this is a beautiful 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 coach bag I am so in love with this bag I love this one the most and then I've given this bag some TLC I have to redo it because I also uh, creamed up the hardware everywhere and the lining so I definitely have to redo this bag, but I love this hobo shape. I love the cream color. I also love this broadening part. This makes me think of the Ergo line that Coach has recently brought out. And um, this is the part of the bag and it just flows into the strap. That is really a unique style. I want to fill my collection up with some really new coach bags but I don't know which one yet I do love the champion uh, and coach collaboration I love the pillow tabby I do love the ergo so many cute styles to pick from so I'm a little bit indecisive I'm really obsessed with coach lately the brand really has my heart they have so many cool collaborations they have Sephora X coach they have Schultz and coach and they are bringing back so many great styles. They have the Coach Forever line where they take an old coach bag and they revamp it, which I really, really adore. So yes, uh, Coach Jolie has my heart these days. Anyways, this was it for my entire Coach collection. If you want to see more on the history of designer handbag brands or if you want to see more vintage style designer handbags, then consider subscribing. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see each other next Friday.